The Philippines is one of the fastest growing market for smartphone according to IGC. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the latest smartphone brand from China. Stay tuned as we unbox V3 Max by Vivo. For 17,000 pesos or 16,99 fee to be exact, are you going to spend that hard-earned money for this device? The V3 Max sports a 5.5-inch Full HD display. It is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 652, 64-bit octa-core 1.8 GHz processor. It is paired with 4 gigs of RAM, a 32 gig internal storage, which is still expandable through microSD of up to 128 gigabytes. It has a non-removable battery of 3,000 milliamps. The cameras has 13 and 8 megapixels. It is 168 grams and features fingerprint scanner and fast charging. Running the show is rather an old OS which is the Android 5.1 Lollipop with Fantas OS 2.5, the custom UI by Vivo. So okay, let's go take a look at what's inside the box of the V3 Max. If you are familiar with Oppo, this device has a semblance to their latest device, the F1 and F1 Plus. Even the packaging looks similar. Inside the box, you'll find the SIM ejector with uh, a free transparent casing to protect the device. All other accessories inside the box are colored white, the cables, the wall charger, the earphone. And there's this one freebie that comes with a box, an OTG adapter, which is really nice for devices such as flash drive or mouse or external keyboard. Like I told you earlier, the V3 Max is very similar to Oppo's F1 Plus. The build, the looks, even the materials that they use look similar to the Oppo F1 Plus. At the back on the far left is the 13 megapixel camera, LED flash and the fingerprint sensor at the center, and the Vivo branding on the right at the power are the power button and volume rocker. And on the opposite side is the SIM tray. At the bottom part is the micro USB 2.0 and the speaker grill. The build and construction of the V3 Max is really nice and looks premium. But the only problem is because they use a metal construction of, the, of uh, this smartphone, it can be very slippery in your hands. That's why they probably included the clear casing so that it could prevent uh, accidental slip from your hand. At 7.58 mm, the V3 Max is really thin, but when you hold it to your hands, it feels a little heft probably because of the 3000 mA battery. And as for the fingerprint sensor, we are happy to report that it provided us very fast and accurate results. Here is another closer look at the Vivo V3 Max.
Thank you very much for watching this video once more. This is Spidey, and see you in our next episode. Thank you for watching.